To start our other fried chicken, what we have is about a pound of chicken breast that's been quartered up and cut up into four pieces. We're going to do a vinegar bath with this. So we're just going to dump the chicken into the bowl. We have a bit of water here. Let's see, can we get an angle? Can we get an angle? Can we get a good shot? Yes, yeah, so we have about six cups of water. We just want to cover it thoroughly. And we have our wonderful apple cider vinegar. And we're going to pour in one, two tablespoons. And bring it over to see. like it's about a teaspoon then oh snap then I'm gonna get some onion powder and use this because this is fresher get some onion powder take the top off then get about a teaspoon of that then I got <clears throat> some ground mustard Off. And I'm pouring the ground mustard in my hand because it's got it has a tendency to clump up. So I'm just gonna smooth my finger in there, break it up a little bit. That was about a half a teaspoon. Flashback. I think we've all used this packet at one point or another. And I put half a package of that in here. Just because it's what we had on our on, on hand at the time. We're just gonna mix this up. Onion powder, paprika, mustard powder. That's it. Then I'm gonna put in the black pepper and the salt, always at last. With another spoon. Put your salt. Another spoon to have some non fat Greek yogurt. I need two good tablespoons. So this looks like about a half a cup of that. What it looks like to me. Okay. Low fat buttermilk. Can't have fried chicken or unfried chicken without buttermilk, right? And that looks like it's about a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna come in here. Whisk it. Every time I whisk, I can get that song. I beat it, beat it up. Which I hate that song. Not a big fan. So this is the texture we have. I want it to be a little smoother. Gonna add another two tablespoons of butter. This is the consistency. This means it's gonna add here and it's still gonna be We have our chicken that we soaked in the apple cider vinegar bath. We're just gonna pour all of this in here. I got the inspiration for this recipe. I was watching the chew one day. I was like, oh my gosh, they have oven fried chicken that looks so good. It was horrible. It, it was just horrible. It was going to be reading up a little bit. I figured that I would do it this way. Half yogurt, half buttermilk. Then we just take the chicken. Take the chicken and we just smush it up in the bag here. At this point, you could add whatever. If you want to add a little bit of honey, go for it. Hot sauce, go for it. But I'm just going to stick with this basic recipe. We got our crackers all nice and broken up. Put it in a neutral blender. We need a neutral bullet can. And we're done. That's it. An alternative to making your own breadcrumbs, panko style, would be to buy the Wasa crackers. These are crisp and light, wholesome wheat. 
and these crackers for a serving size is three crackers. These are what the crackers look like. These are what the crackers look like. Yes, that are in. They kind of look almost like the shape of graham crackers. The next thing we have is good old fashioned cornflakes. Remember that cornflake chicken from back in the day? We were kind of doing that, but with a little twist. These are my cornflakes. And I'm going to put about a cup into the neutral bowl. And you all know what's going to happen. When the neutral bowl gets the cornflakes, it's going to pulverize it. Time to make the breading. We have our homemade wheat panko breadcrumbs. We're gonna put about a quarter of a cup in there. Then we have our cornflakes that we mixed up in the neutral bullet. Quarter cup of that. We have a little bit of Parmesan cheese. That's about a quarter cup. And let's get the hands in here. Mix it up. See what we have. I don't think we have enough. I'm gonna put the rest of the cornflakes. Just throw them all in there. And then all of that, this is the only cornflake <laughs> that's whole. Get our hands in there. Mix that up a little bit more. I'm gonna put. Two more tablespoons. Okay, that looks good. A little bit of salt. Making a mess here, okay. Then now we're gonna get our chicken. The thing about this is we're gonna cook it in a cast iron skillet. Instead of cooking it in a baking sheet, that cast iron heat is no joke. So we're gonna put about a tablespoon of oil at the bottom. And we're just gonna rub that in. We'll rub it in with my hands. At the sides too. Rub it in. Getting it all covered. Okay. For a tablespoon of I use olive oil, you can use whatever oil you have. Okay, we're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna bring our bread back to the forefront. It's all mixed up. Then we have our chicken pieces. And tongs. They'll come in here. I'm gonna get a couple pieces. When I put it down, I try to like I'm just shaking off any extra. Any extra. So you can see that. I kinda like to nestle it in a little bit. One more down to this side of the bag, as you can see here, and shake off the excess. Put this down here, pick it up, put it on a nice good pad. And I'm going to take a fork and I'm just going to kind of scoop the mixture onto the chicken. For it. I'm just gonna go around so we don't have like chicken hands. <laughs> okay, that's good. I'm just turning it as I go along to get it all cool there. Mm -hmm. Just in the nick of time, our oven is ready. We we'll give this a quick pat, quick turn. Can you do this in a resealable Ziploc bag or a resealable plastic bag? Whatever. I don't know if she's supposed to use Ziploc or not. Can you do this in another method, like a shake and bake? Sure. Shake and bake never really worked for me, though. Okay. So I'm going to pack. Get a whole scoop. Sprinkle it on top. Because you can pack that breading onto the chicken. 
get them and shake them off lately. Let's see over here. You shake these off lightly. You put it in the pan. Shake it lightly. Put it into the pan. Just like that. Take this one. Shake it lightly. Put it into the pan. I'm going to keep going until my pan is completely full. We have the chicken down. What we're going to do is we're going to take some cooker spray. This though would be perfect for this. Take some spray. Coat it wonderfully. And then throw this in the oven. <laughs> now I'll snap, crack it, and pop it a little bit. So, Smells good. Looks good. Looks really good. I'm let this cool down. I'm gonna eat in a little bit. Okay. So the chicken was looking like a little ashy, a little dull. I just sprayed it a little bit with a little bit of cooking spray so it'll have like a nice glossy color with the illusion of fried chicken. Because you know fried chicken has like that oil on it. So this is just a light coating, which makes it look really, really good. 